was the third and final town hall in the latest stretch of the city's clean slate strategy timeline. And all three of the meetings attracted people from neighborhoods across the city. In the city's strategic plan to establish a permanent homeless shelter by November 1st, another chance for people to share their thoughts with city officials. There is no one solution to this problem, I think. It's many faceted, it's complex, and it's not going to be solved overnight. I would hope that a majority of the people that this involves, our, our homeless population, our transient population, they want help. They do. But I have to, the harsh reality is, you know as well as I do, there's probably a good percentage that they don't want help. The Committee on Housing and Homelessness Chair Felix Rivera provided some data to try and give a bit of context to the current situation in the city. For example, a point in time count from January of this year showed 335 unsheltered people were sleeping outside at that time. That's more than double the amount from the same time last year. But other Anchorage Assembly counts have pointed to numbers in the thousands. And while residents who spoke Monday don't all agree on what to do next, they do all want something to be done. I'm actually taking in homeless people and driving around with them in my motor home to sleep, putting up my own tent for them to sleep, and I'm feeding them all my food and my water. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. Try to sober them up and feed them because they look like they're dying. I'm pretty sure they are, actually. Oh, it's not a situation where we don't love, that we do love everyone in unconditional positive regard. But also there's norms that's expected, social norms that we expect. We need to enforce those things and hearing in the different town hall meetings and talking to other people is feeling like there's a certain special group that's being recognized, excluding other people in our community and not following the norms that society has. So we're looking at a dichotomy here. The Clean Slate strategy document on the municipal website shows upcoming meetings on Wednesday, Monday, and next Wednesday as well as more town halls in July and August.